Now I'd love it if Handani, yeah, if they want to sponsor me or provide free masks or make me an artist signature model, I would love that. But at the moment, I have to buy my own masks. Right, thanks for watching this video about how to choose the right mask to teach in. Now this video is recorded in the UK in January 2023. And I think it provides sensible advice on how to keep yourself safe from COVID in the UK in early 2023. Hopefully things will change, even if they don't immediately get safer, and you'll be able to get better advice soon. For example, schools in the UK don't currently provide their staff with free, high quality masks. They don't provide support with choosing the right masks to make it easier to do your job. Maybe they will do so in the future. Now, if you live outside the UK, this video may still be helpful, but hopefully you already know some of the things that I'm talking about. You may, already be, you may already be familiar with high quality masks. If you live somewhere that gives people proper support with masks, then follow the professional advice you've received. If you live somewhere where mask use is common, you probably don't need this video. The video is intended to be used by teachers and those who work in schools. I'll also be giving some advice that be suitable for parents in the UK who are helping their children to mask in schools. If you're a student in school who's still masking, wherever you are in the world, then you are amazing. Now, it's not intended to be used by healthcare professionals. You guys should receive proper support with masking, such as fit testing. If your standards are already higher than those mentioned here, then follow the professional advice you've received. Also, I know very, very little about elastomeric masks, so you should look elsewhere for advice with those. All right, well, who am I? Well, right now, I'm not going to give you my real name for various reasons. Before March 2020, I played music under the name Heaven in a Wildflower, so I'm going to use that name online. I don't represent any school or professional organisation, but I do teach science in a UK school. I'm not currently using their logo or identifying them in this video or anywhere online. It'd be unfair to identify an employer and say that I don't believe that they're COVID safe. Now, I'm a science teacher and a parent, and because I'm very interested in an area that very few people are interested in, I may well be the expert in masking UK schools. I really don't want to be. I'd much rather there was someone else who knows more about this than I do. Now, if you do know more about this than I do, please get in contact with me. There are still plenty of staff masking in schools up and down the country. And you may well have learned a lot that I have had a chance to learn. Now, I won't be the world expert on this. In Japan, in Vietnam, masking is very, very common in schools. In Europe, even in America, ordinary people are familiar with the sorts of masks that I'm going to talk about. What that means is that if you live outside the UK, you can probably get better advice than I can give. Now, why am I very interested in masks? I'm going to talk more about that later. But I first got very interested in June 2020 on World Environment Day. I watched a live link up between a school in the UK which had switched to remote learning. All the kids are at home. Another school in Taiwan. Now, the Taiwanese school was in person. Now, their mask wearing was frankly pretty variable quality. They were clearly doing something that allowed their school to stay open. Now, before we start, have a think about why you aren't being offered any training on masks by your school. If you're training as a teacher, is your university or your training provider offering you any training on teaching in a mask? Maybe they think you don't need to wear a mask. Maybe they think you can't teach in a mask. Maybe they think that masks don't work. Maybe they don't want to talk about masks or about COVID. If you want to make sense of this, think about what you know about climate change. Why aren't governments acting about this issue that we know is a huge problem? Later on, we will look at why governments aren't acting on COVID, but for now, just have a think about climate change. Now, the advice I'm giving you here is mine. It doesn't reflect the views of my school, my union, or any official body. And that is a problem. Because nobody in positions of responsibility in the UK will give you any advice on this area. Have a think about that. Have a think about why. Why is no one else offering new training like this? Now, I've had lots and lots of informal help from a lot of amazing people, most of whom I've never met, not even over Zoom. But I do hope that in the future I'll get to meet someone in real life. And I will finish this, this training by saying some of the people I'd encourage you to get in contact with. Now, why have I created this video? Well, firstly, if you're a teacher or a singer or a performer, or you're wanting to speak in public, you may want something from a mask that other people don't need. It's not really complicated doing these jobs in a mask, but it's great to have some advice. Secondly, not every mask works for every person. My mask works really well for me, but you might need something different. We've got different shapes and sizes of face. Um, I'm going to look at five Fs of different masks, and I'm going to extend some ideas looking at the feel of different masks. Thirdly, it seems unlikely that the UK government will mandate masks anytime soon. Hopefully, some individual schools will, but in the near future, you're going to be doing something called one-way masking, and you may well be doing it on your own. I'm going to look at some of the challenges you'll face. 
Most of these challenges are much, much easier if there are one or two other people in your community still wearing masks, even if those people are children. I'm also going to be addressing some myths about masks and to talk a bit more widely about COVID and about where I think we need to go from here. I'll talk about some common misunderstandings too. And if you're still watching by the end, I'll tell you a bit more about my story, how I came to be one of the, the last holdouts, and very importantly, where to go for some more information. <laughs> 